Scientists will launch an expedition into the Green Banana, a sinkhole 155 feet beneath the sea. An international team will explore the depths of a massive undersea cavern called the Green Banana off the coast of Florida. According to the Charlotte Observer, the year-long expedition will be overseen by the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. The cavern is a blue hole, meaning it is an oceanic equivalent to a sinkhole on land. Estimated to be 425 feet deep, the blue hole is expected to be too narrow in many places for drone submarines to navigate. This means divers must investigate the cave system. Writing in a news release, the agency says blue holes could be thriving habitats for oceanic wildlife in otherwise barren regions of the sea. Creatures that could dwell in blue holes include sea turtles, corals, sponges, and sharks. This whole idea of visiting some god-knows-how-old cave under the ocean may provoke, well, a vague sense of unease. But if you're the kind of person interested in ancient buried things, hey, I don't judge. Stay a while and check out these videos. Kay Vilchis and Eric Sosa, the cave researchers who took part in the expedition, said they retrieved the teeth that belonged to prehistoric sharks and possibly humans. Researchers found at least 13 prehistoric shark teeth during a diving expedition in the Sox Cenote, a flooded cave in the Mexican city of Merida. Mexico City Daily Excelsior reported that morphological analysis suggests one of the teeth belonged to a megalodon, a species of giant sharks that lived from about 23 million to 2.5 million years ago. Megalodons were the biggest sharks known to have existed in the world. A megalodon could grow as large as 18 meters long, and its open jaws were 1.8 meters wide, dwarfing the great white shark, according to National Geographic. The researchers told Excelsior they found other teeth belonging to the saw shark and mako shark genesis likely originating in the same geological epochs as the megalodon tooth. Excelsior reported that the Sox Cenote is Merida's third largest flooded cavern, and researchers are mapping the cave system. Sox means a shark in the Mayan language, as cenote is a natural sinkhole. Eric Sosa said discovering fossils of ocean life suggests the region had been under the sea millions of years ago. Researchers have discovered remains of tiny sea creatures deep beneath the ice in Antarctica. Scientists in Antarctica have drilled beneath a frozen Antarctic lake and discovered signs of ancient aquatic life as part of the expedition SALSA, or Subglacial Antarctic Lakes of Scientific Access. According to a report published in Nature, the scientists used a hot water drill to bore through the ice. Remains of tiny sea animals such as crustaceans and tardigrade, also known as water bears, were discovered in the subglacial Lake Mercer. The remains of these species were found preserved underneath a kilometer of Antarctic ice. David Harwood, a micropaleontologist at the University of Nebraska-Lincoln involved with the project, said they didn't expect to find ancient life buried underneath the ice. Slawik Tulazic, a glaciologist at the University of California, Santa Cruz, who was not part of the research team, told Nature that nothing like this ever has been discovered beneath the glacial ice. Tulazic said the sea creatures probably lived in ponds and streams in the Trans-Antarctic Mountains when the climate was warmer. He explained the river could have washed down the creatures from the mountains to the lake. The animals may have been in the lake when ice sheets started to form over it and froze them over. For more news animations and explainers, hit the subscribe and bell button to join the Tomo News family. Thanks for watching.